The Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Kelly N. Class. Well, if you liked yesterday's forecast, it's not going to be the same today. Things are changing pretty quickly as a front has pushed through the area, now dropping our temperatures into the 20s and 30s and picking up winds right now. Winds are sustained for the most part out of the north and northwest northeast at about 20 to 25 miles per hour with gusts as high as about 35 miles per hour. And it's also that northerly wind bringing in some colder air. Temperatures right now are actually into the 20s and 30s. 28 right now in Tulia, 33 degrees here in Lubbock, 41 degrees in Gale. But when you factor in those windy conditions, this is what it feels like outside right now. It feels like 15 degrees in Friona, 25 degrees in O'Donnell, 21 right now in Lubbock. And many places aren't really going to stray from the team and 20s by later on this morning. Around 11 o'clock, temperatures will still feel like the teens and 20s across the region. And then by this afternoon, when actual temperatures warm up into the mid to upper 50s, with those windy conditions still sustained out of the north at 20 to 25 miles per hour, it's going to feel like the 40s and 30s all day today. So we are going to be dealing with a cold day today, feeling a lot more like winter. Tonight, it gets cold once again as actual temperatures drop at or below freezing and feels like temperatures will be into the 20s. Tomorrow afternoon, another chilly day is on tap as temperatures will still feel like the 20s and 30s at about 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So certainly today and tomorrow, the coldest days of the next several, but it's not going to last for long. It's just a little bump in the road before we get back to above average temperatures. Now, this front did bring a lot of cloud cover, but one thing our satellite and radar isn't picking up is a little bit of some mist and some light drizzle. You can clearly see from our Olten live sky view a lot of mist on the camera lens and a lot of water droplets as well. That could reduce some visibility. We could be dealing with a little bit of some freezing drizzle, especially up to our north and to our west. Otherwise, those clouds and that mist will clear out by later on today. But then tonight, increasing cloud cover ahead of our next storm system. That'll bring a little bit of some isolated showers and maybe even a few rumbles of thunder, especially to the south of Lubbock by later tomorrow. This starts tomorrow morning, continues throughout the afternoon, and then eventually moves out by the evening. Not going to be experiencing a lot of widespread rainfall, and in fact, it's only going to be a few pop up showers and thunderstorms. Good news is, though, for those of you who do see any precipitation, we're not expecting any severe weather. Otherwise, it's going to be dry and overcast tomorrow and a lot cooler as well. Today, temperatures will rise up only into the mid to upper 50s. This is almost 20 degrees below our average for this time of year, and winds will be sustained out of the north at about 20 to 25 miles per hour, making it feel a lot more like the 40s by this afternoon. We'll start off with some clouds cover this morning that'll break by later today, but then clouds will increase again tonight, leading to overcast conditions tomorrow. A few isolated rain chances, but 54 degrees as the Lubbock's high temperature tomorrow, so it is going to be cold. We quickly, though, rebound back up into the mid 70s by Sunday, even though we have those mostly cloudy conditions. 80s by Monday as our next rain chance moves on in only at about 10%. And then Tuesday, 86 degrees and holding steady into the 80s. So a good day to just spend indoors, maybe watch Netflix, read a book cook anything you want to cook. We've been talking about that all morning. <laughs> I have so many books though that I have to read, kind of get them off the shelves, dust them off, off a little bit, but they're all new books that I haven't read before, so it'll be great hey, to do that. Good day to do so. Put some stew on the crock pot or maybe make some soup. Oh yeah. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> Thank you.